I honestly find it fascinating and funny sometimes when I have a stance that I'm sure is not going to be particularly contentious or polarizing, and it ends up being a little bit more than I least expected. So I did a video recently when I ranked all the irregulars, and I'm talking about from Rachel all the way to Phantom Minimum, and I even added the data characters, data Edwan, data Jihad, data Mazzino, all of that. And in that video, I just wanted to see where people, how people thought they ranked in terms of strength and power from weakest to strongest. I don't think I did too many things with my list that were particularly controversial or hot takeish, but I think the hottest one that I had, and I've never really not had this belief, was I had Mazino one spot over Jihad. You what? And some of you did not like that. And I'm a little bit surprised because A, I'm going to be honest, based on the arguments that I've seen in red, you haven't made a good case in my opinion. Because I think there's actually, I don't think you're wrong to believe Jihad is stronger than Mazino. And the story has probably portrayed it that way more often than not. But I don't think you guys have made good cases based on the comments that I've seen thus far. While I may have my belief and I disagree with you guys, maybe I don't think you're wrong. I've always said this, there's certain times in an argument or a debate, whatever the case may be, where I might have my stance, I might be on my side of the fence, but I don't think that you're like stupid for having your belief. Back in the day when we used to debate, debate who's the best rapper of all time, I used to think it was Jay-Z. If you told me like Nas, I wouldn't laugh at you and say, think you're an idiot. You said Nas. Nas is one of the greats, one of the GOATs. Of course, like that's a viable answer. I'm just not on your side. Something like basketball, you might, you know, LeBron or Jordan, you know, football, uh, Messi or Ronaldo. Like, it's not like you came to me and said, I think the best football player in the world that's ever existed. And you named some fucking bum or somebody who like has never done anything. Or you go, I think the best basketball player ever is Jordan Poole. Yeah, and then look at you funny because like, you're not making any sense. So I just thought it was kind of funny. So I just want to talk about it um, real quickly. I'm not going to go into super, super heavy debates, but A... As far as I'm concerned, in terms of on-screen portrayal, Mazzino's is probably better. I do think it's comparable, but Mazzino's probably better. And now you're talking about, in, in terms of the power and the showcase and the abilities that the data versions got to use, I think Zahard had more, but based on him not being able to, not needing revolution to talking to the... um the guard of guardians not the, the the data floor not being able to really record him properly being an error because he was stronger than the other irregulars that were there at the time at least as far as i can tell and that probably includes bam in a in a weird way i thought he was stronger at that point um Arie hans test he completely bodied in Arie hans like oh no already on the 100th floor before he completed the climb if that if i was testing him but if that continued i would have lost i'm like hmm interesting i've seen him fight loose like one of the strongest people in the tower and honestly he ain't really struggle like that and he wasn't particularly trying i've also seen him beat someone with without any shinsu even though he couldn't use it he didn't need it and granted the strength between him and Heljo was like heaven and earth but the fact of the matter is we haven't seen many people just win without shinsu like that bam has had that um they put something on bam or they did something to bam where he couldn't really use it for a while he had to use the thorn i recall that but that's impressive because that's the main way of boosting your power your physical capabilities projectile attacks using your shinsu shape or shinsu quality xyz whoop de whoop like you need shinsu so i think it's impressive if you can't do that if you um if you can fight without it essentially jihad has used like um his attacks against um bam and kunidwan and dana floor which was impressive in terms of real jihad we've seen him inspire yas Racha by just being a hologram making him fight hard despite him being kind of a lazy laid back cat on top of the golden mystery from needle island he summoned a bunch when he kind of out faded out saw destiny when it came with him and Kel Helm back in like the age of Genesis. Like he's got feet. Like it really isn't. You're not. It's not a hot take, and it's not weird for you to be like Jahad stronger than Mazino. Like I'm not gonna look at you crazy for that. But I do think you're gonna have to make a little bit. You gotta make a better case. Some of the cases you guys made to me did not move me. I'm like I will destroy this in a court. In a court. If we're in a courtroom and we have to debate this or some type of real on screen debate. I will destroy you. And then not because I'm right, because I don't think your arguments are particularly that strong right now. But again, I am one of those people that might take on the top, the top three irregulars in some ways are a little bit more tempered than other people. If someone said Enryu versus pretty much anybody in the tower, I would have been on Enryu. Don't get that twisted. However, 
I really don't think if Jihad and Mazzino had some epic fight, it was a fair fight, fair fight. And then I read the news the next day and the news said Urek Mazzino was the winner. I wouldn't be surprised by that. If I saw the Jihad, the king of the tower was the winner, still wouldn't be surprised. It was a draw. No shock in my, no shock in my body. Oh, it was inconclusive. Still wouldn't be surprised. That's really my stance. But because I like Mazzino more, I think he's a much more interesting character so far. And I've seen him do more in the story and be around. And I've liked the feats and the statements about him and some of the organizations and people he's tied to. I just give him the edge ever so slightly. But I don't think it would, as you guys like to say, it would be a super high, extreme high diff. He's not going to wash the king of the tower. He's going to have to fight for his damn life and squeak away with a W. So basically, out of 10 times, I think he'd win about 6, 60%. I'll leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think I am absolutely bugging? Because my other hot take is I think V was stronger than Jihad or just as strong as Jihad the whole time they was climbing, even during the war. And Jihad only got stronger because, quote unquote, V is dead. Let me know what you guys think, though. And if you haven't watched that video, definitely go give it a peep. It was a fun time. I asked you guys to rank them. I did my rankings, and then we went through it and talked about it. what's good patreon thank you for the continued support i need it trust me every single cent and penny counts every dollar means something shout out to the cbls the certified bam lovers appreciate y'all shout out to the priests of fire that's the certified brill of the gang they might be the real cbls i don't know but a huge big shout out to my tier threes that's the fifth zen gods shout out to zyler scotty zodiac namiko Zachary Cooper, Urek Mozino, Tino Brown, Ticos, Simi, Scob, S, Revenant, Naz Riley, Lucky Roo, Lazy Dragon, Johnny Rogers, Jacob Holland, Huey, Fairs, Childish Nujabes, Andrew, Abdi Malik, and Big Abdel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Hey, yo, now I got flavored snow. We eat it flavored snow. We are moving up in the world, people. Let's get it.